today is a great day. Today we are taking a look at how to mix hard cell leads. I want to point out I am not a professional. I'm learning. I just do my thing. I pick up tips from other people and with that I make music. But I do know a few things that can help you out making this. So let's begin with the tutorial. I've got my track trust here. To check out the full track, you can go to the link down in the comments and I hope you like it. So I will first show you how the track sounds and after that I will show you the layers. And then I will give you some tips on what to look out for and how to mix it properly. So, if I may say so, it sounds really nice. The principle of how I mix my tracks is based around mixing around the kick. I have the kick right here. These are the punches. Um, I added reverb to them to give them some space, to give them some, uh, to add something extra to the kick. Uh, without the punches it sounds like this. So what I always do, I put my main elements of the track to the left. You can do that by right clicking and then dock to left. So these, these are the important parts of the track. If I remove those... You will hear something but uh, the main elements are gone. It makes it easy for me to see how high the volumes are of the elements. So for example, the kick is going very loud. It's actually going the loudest and after that, all the other stuff. I mix my track alongside with actually building the track and making the track. I do that around the kick. So the kick is the main element. After that, I add the leads, the chords, etc. So this is the pattern of the melody. Um, I've got some plugs, some chords, and some leads, and I will show you the leads. Uh, these are some basic uh, silent one leads, and so each lead I, I pan a certain way. So I want this lead to be the main sound, so I added a stereo enhancer. It brings it all the way to a mono sound. I added a uh, super saw and I probably added, yeah, I uh, separated it more to sound more wide and then I added another uh, fat lead that is somewhere in between the middle of it. Um, and then I sent all those three leads to one bus. That bus goes to the reverb again. And that bus takes care of all the uh, compression. I have a, a transient processor in it um, to get rid of some of the clicks. I added an EQ, a manipulator for some crazy effects, limiter for side chaining, and um, I have a vocal on the track. And that vocal, when it speaks, um, it puts down uh, the actual lead so they don't interfere a lot. These leads together are mostly located up here in the mid, high, mid uh, treble area. Then I have some chords and they take care of the, the harmonies of the melody and they take care of more high frequencies. So this one as well is going more mono um, and together with the leads they sound like this. Uh, an OTT, a parametric EQ and just I guess basic stuff. 
I've got a camel crush on there. Uh, camel crusher is free and it gives a lot of crunch to the sound. So yeah, these chords and the leads with the kick sound like this. Um, in my opinion, they sound okay, but there are not as much mid frequencies in there and I miss some sort of drive to the melody. So to add mids, I just add plug chords, uh, some sauce, this one as well. With all of them, I sidechain them something like this. Uh, then I mix them not too hard. So as you see, they take care of most of the mid frequencies. With all of these combined, they make up the full sound. A lot of times when I mix these elements, I put all the volumes down and after that I just slightly bring them up. So if I have this, I will just bring them up slightly and then adjust them as much as I need to. So then I first start with the lead. The lead is going to be one of the loudest elements in the track and after that the chorus and after that the, the pads. So important to note here is that I don't really touch the kick anymore. So I leave the kick alone. I sidechain every element, every lead chord pad has a, a certain amount of low cut on it. So there's no bass, no sub in it. So that adds a lot of space for the kick to fit in the mix. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. I'll be uploading tons of videos in the future. So uh, make sure to follow me and um, I will see you later. Bye bye.